Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be doing something quite a bit out of the ordinary. This is not going to be a traditional unboxing. We're going to be looking at the Too Many Bones Trove Chest, which is a big wooden storage solution for the Too Many Bones game and the, the many, many expansions that come with it. So uh, I'm just going to do a quick overview of what it looks like. I, I can't go into any real uh, grand detail about it because it really is mostly a storage system, but you can get a sense for what its uh, scale is, what its size is. Let me find a, oh, let's get a kind of a standard size game here. Let's see, let's do something like, this is kind of a standard size game and you can kind of get a sense for the size here okay it's it's a it's a large large box okay so first things first is you have this kind of slide off right here which is the front of the box I can show you the sides as well but you can see there's artwork on all of it okay all the way around you have artwork that kind of play into this idea of it being this big chest right now you've got all of these trays, but as you can see, they're flush here and there's no real finger holes to get those out. So in that case, you're going to get this key, this big magnetic key, and you place it on the front and you slide it out. Okay. And so I'll just go one by one through these different drawers. Now within these drawers are going to be um, different aspects that you can use to help organize your too many bones content. And so I'm not going to go into tremendous detail about all of these, but uh, because honestly, I don't know all of the detail about all of them, but we've got here some dividers. Okay. So here are some card dividers that will allow you to keep things better organized. So for example, and it's the same uh, material that is used kind of this plastic material that's used in the too many bones game system. So Louvre and loot and trove loot encounters, all of the different types of cards and some blank cards that you could all obviously uh, use for whatever you might want them to be used for. I'll just keep those out for now. We've got stickers that are going to be going on plastic boxes that I will show you here in a moment that are going to uh, put all of the different gear locks in their own boxes and the different baddies the tyrants, things along those lines. So here are some gear locks, gasket and boomer and tantrum and the lab rats, etc. Other stickers here. I can probably actually get these out theoretically. All right. So you can see these different stickers here. All right. The different tyrants all along there. And here you can also see kind of a, an overview of what, how things get organized. All right. And the different definitions. All right. So it, it's a, a bit of a guide on how to actually organize and put this all together. The reason that this exists is because obviously there's a lot of content and as such, you're going to kind of need a bit of an overview on how these things work. All right. So here we've got a number of our plastic trays where you can have your chips here and areas for the dice that can be placed within that along with your kind of etched covering there. And there's a, a number of those. Alrighty. You can kind of see it just keeps going here. <laughs> there's a lot of material again for the game. Here we've got another car, uh, card deck uh, box for the trove chest. And some plastic bases. 
which I think these are actually dividers. These are chip dividers. You place them in and you kind of see that they slide on top of chips. And so you can divide up your different three, five point baddies. And they've got little spots there for you to, I don't know if you can make that out well on camera, different spots there for you to put those stickers. Okay. Just an empty tray there. Here we've got places to put your different cards. You've got encounters here. Actually, you could put your, your deck boxes in this, I believe. Your encounters deck box, your trove loop deck, deck box, and your loot deck box there. Again, I'm, I'm not positive if it's deck boxes or if it's just cards, but either way, it's the same general idea. Just more of an organization to make things go more quickly when you're setting the game up because as you can tell when you've got this much content it can take a little while to, to set things up this is a one of the kind of standard chip theory chip holders so you've got an extra chip holder there now well, let's see did i get that there we go here we've got our Little trays here, more to hold the chips and the dice. I believe these are for the tyrants. I'm not positive, but I believe they are. And you've got a whole number of those. And more here as well, okay? All right, well, depending on the amount of too many bones material you have, would probably de determine whether this is something that you might or might not be interested in. It's certainly a lavish uh, storage solution. It's something that is above and beyond what you typically will find even for deluxe gaming editions. But that is the Too Many Bones Trove Chest from Chip Theory Games. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.